The ruined east tower is seen from inside the grounds. Wyndham Abbey is the Anglican parish church for the town of Wyndham in Norfolk, England. A wide range of services for worship take place, including different formats such as Messy Church, Sunday Sung Eucharist, Pram Service, Morning Prayer and even Song with Benediction. It was an active parish with a variety of groups running pre-COVID, prayer and Bible study, social groups, Mother's Union Branch, the Way Youth Group, Choir, Friends of the Abbey. There is also much interest in the history of the building and parish, with an archivist and a preservation trust in operation. There are around 200 people on the electoral roll and a similar number used to attend one of the four Sunday worship services. The number of both services and worshippers is currently much lower. Please check website for details of services and occasional openings. Sunday services are at 8 a.m., 9, 15 a.m., 10, 30 a.m. and 6, 30 p.m. Morning and evening prayer is said daily. Today the Abbey serves as the parish church of Wyndham, but it started life as a Benedictine priory. The monastery was founded in 1107 by William Dobigny, butler to King Henry I. William was a prominent Norfolk landowner, with estates in Wyndham and nearby New Buckingham. The Dolbini family originated from St. Martin Dobigny in Normandy. Later, the founder's son, William Dobigny, 1st Earl of Arundel, in 1174 founded Becket's Chapel close by in the town, to be served by two monks from the priory. Becket's Chapel William Dolbini's monastery was a dependency of the Benedictine Monastery at St. Albans, where his uncle Richard was abbot. Wyndham Priory was relatively small, initially for some twelve Benedictine monks, but grew in influence and wealth over the coming centuries. Disputes between the Wyndham and Street Albans monks were quite common, and in 1448, following a successful petition to the king, the Pope granted Wyndham the right to become an abbey in its own right. A notable abbot was Thomas Walsingham. Wyndham Abbey nave the monastery church was completed by about 1130, and originally was dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Later, following the murder of St. Thomas Becket in 1170, Becket's name was added to the dedication. A modern icon panel by the late Reverend. David Hunter is on display in the church and tells the story of Thomas's life in pictures. In 1174, the founder's son, also called William Dobigny, established a chapel in the town dedicated to Becket and served by two monks from the priory. The church was originally cruciform in shape, with a central tower and twin west towers. When it was built, stone from Caen in Normandy was shipped specially across the English Channel to face the walls. The central tower was replaced in about 1376 by a tall octagonal tower, which held the monks' bells. In 1447, work on a much taller single west tower began. This replaced the original Norman towers and held the townspeople's bells. From the start, the church had been divided between monks' and townspeople's areas, with the nave in Northall serving as parish church for the town. This, too, was from time to time the cause of disputes which occasionally erupted into lawlessness, though the vicar of Wyndham was appointed by the abbot. King Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries brought about the closure of Wyndham Abbey, which was surrendered to the king in 1538. The monks had, apparently willingly, already signed the oath of supremacy, and were given generous pensions, Elisha Ferrers, the last abbot, became vicar of Wyndham. The years following the dissolution saw the gradual demolition of the monastic buildings for reuse of the stone. The eastern end of the church was destroyed, leaving the present church only about half its original length. Repairs to the church were carried out following Queen Elizabeth I's visit in 1573. Funerary hatchment now hung in the ringing chamber notable features of the church are the twin towers, the Norman nave, the splendid 15th-century angel roof in the nave and fine Northall roof. The church is also remarkable for its high-quality fittings such as the 1783 organ by James Davis and 1810 chamber organ and the splendid gilded reardos or altar screen, one of the largest works of Sir Ninian Comper. This was dedicated in 1921 as a war memorial, though the gilding was not finished until 1934. Note also the early Tudor terracotta sedilia, the Georgian candelabrum and royal arms of George II, the carved medieval font with modern gilded font cover and many smaller features such as angels, musicians and figures carved on the roof timbers and corbels. The West Tower houses a peal of ten bells, recast and rehung in 1967. Hung in the bell tower are six well-preserved 18th-century hatchments. A specification of the organ can be found on the National Pipe Organ Register. Thanks for watching.